Hakadosh Boker Or Mesech Gitin Daf Yud Gimel Amud Aleph Thirteen A One. We are starting in the Mishnah. Yeah, where the Mishnah comes, and the Mishnah says, "Haomer Tenu Get Ze Lishti." Somebody that comes and he says, "Give this get to my wife." Or Shtar Shichur Ze Leavdi, or the Shtar Shichur to my servant who met and he passes away. Which means the Mishaleach passes away before giving over the document. Lo Yud Tenu Leacham Mita. You cannot give it after death. So one more time, Tenu Get Ze Lishti. Or shichur ze leavdi who met and now he passes away. Lo yitnu laachamita. You cannot give it after death. But tnu manele ploni, right? Who met yitnu laachamita. But if it was a present and he said, "Give this mane to this certain person," then he passes away. You give it after mita. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak says the Gemara. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak by Shmuel bar Marta. Mishme the Rav says the Gemara. Right? Rabbi Yitzchak by Shmuel bar Marta says the name of Rav. Which means, when does the Mishnah say that you would give the mana after his death? Only in a case where the money was already in a certain place, right? So that's what is it. And therefore, he comes and the Balamao comes and he says, Give this money to this person. But if he just said, Stam tinu mane liploni, and he didn't say which money, and then the person passes away, you do not give it over, right? Which means, one more time, the concept is that the money is already designated. If it's not designated money, right? Zelo money ma'ot miuchadot, then no. I know it's a bad... Yeah, yeah, we learned this already. We learned this. We learned this already. We quoted this. In, in another masikhet, no? Also. So one more time. So everyone, oh, everyone wants me one more time. For sure, according to everybody, after death, you do not give a get and you do not give a shtar shikru. But to do with money, you would give it over. The Gemara is saying you only give it over if it was a designated money. But my askina and ask the Gemara, what are we dealing with? If we're talking about a healthy person, and he said this when he's healthy, so what do I care now if the money, right? If the money was designated in a certain lot or in a certain corner, he didn't do any mishicha, which means if he didn't do any mishicha, now it belongs to the yorshim. If it belongs to the yorshim, how does this guy come and inherit it? This guy's a healthy person. If this guy's a healthy person, what does it help now? Yeah, the ela obviously. What are we dealing with? The so my so then why does it have to be that it has to be in a certain designated place? Even if it's not going to be money which is designated in a certain place, that Kaimelan, we already are Mikayim, we we paskin. That the words of a person that's a shkimira, it's already like written down. Meaning that a person that's a shkimira, it's already kilu done. That's it. It's a done deal. So Amar Razvid says Razvid. Yeah, everyone understood. What difference does it make? What? Really, we're talking about a healthy person. Imagine a person comes and he says that he's got a mane in his hands and give it to a certain person. If it happened in a mamad shloshtan, right? Kana. The mekabel is is konedze, right? Just with amida. Meaning it's a takanat chachamim that the person is going to acquire. So one more time. A person comes and he tells, right? I come and I tell John Doe. I tell John Doe, listen, right? You owe me a hundred dollars. But instead of giving me those hundred dollars, give it to Mordechai. Yeah. Everyone understood the case. Yeah, one more time. You, you, owe him, uh, you, you, owe right? you owe me the money, but instead of giving it back to me, give it to Mordechai. So he says, if it's done, the ma'amad shloshtan, if it's done in the in the property of all the three people, meaning the owner of the hundred dollars, which was me, the one that has the hundred dollars, which is Zondo, it and is then cool. Mordechai, which is a mekabel, Kana, Mordechai accepts the money immediately. Mitakna Chachamim, he already accepts the money, right? But it's only going to be said by a pikadon, right? And not by a halva'a. Meaning it cannot be as a loan. Meaning, if I lent John Doe the right. money, it doesn't help. It's right. only if I gave it to him as a picadon, as a security. Watch this money. Then I say, ah, I've got a hundred bucks by you. Give that to Mordechai. Then it helps. Okay? So, according to this, our Mishnah then is talking about this case. And that's why Rav came and he said, the din of our Mishnah is talking about where the money is already in a certain place because it's like a security. It's like a picadon by him. And therefore, it goes directly to the other guy. That's the first answer, Rav. Rab David. Second answer. Rab Papa. Rab Papa. Rab Papa, Rab Papa comes and he says, Really, we're talking about a shkid mira. 
וכאידך דה רב, אלא כאדר הלכה אב רב, דאמן רב וזה רב, זה שכיב מרע שאמר, תנו מנה לפלוני מנכסיי, השכיב מרע דקם זה ניסי, אז גיב המנה to this person person from his properties, מנה זה נותנים, if he said give this hundred dollars or this whatever it is, you have to give it. המנה סתם, אבל הוא סתם, אין נותנים, you don't give it. חיישין על שם המנה קבור כמה. אז we're going to suspect that he's saying like, no, it's a מנה which is a certain one, which is already קבור באדמה that they don't know. And therefore the Yorshim are not chayavim to give, right, that another mane instead of it. So because of that, Rav comes and he had to say that it had to be money which was designated, because if not, you don't have to give it. We don't suspect that there's money which is buried somewhere, and, and therefore what? We do give the mane, not like the second din of Rav. Okay? Fine. Rav Papa. So why does Rav Papa not say like Rav Zvid? You'd give him a mubet, 13b. Kasava Rav Papa, Rav Papa holds, Ki Amar Rav, when does Rav come and say, Lo Shna B'mil, Lo Shna B'pikadon. When Rav, he said, there's no difference in a mil ver p'pikadon. Meaning, when it says to do with Ma'amad Shlo Shtan, there's no difference whether it was a loan, right, or a p'pikadon, a security. It's the exact same thing, Selam Em Shos, which means loan and security, the same thing. As long as it's Ma'amad Shlo Shtan, the three of them are there, the lender, the one that borrowed the money or the one that gave the deposit, the one that has the deposit and the third person that they're giving it to, that's already enough. So why does Razvid not say like Rav Papa? So says the Gemara, We don't want to say that Ramishna is talking about the Me My why? Because when a person says, Oh, Shtar Shikhru Zelavdi, you met, Lo Yitnu Lacham Mita. We said, that, what was the first case of the Mishnah? Somebody comes and he says, give this get to his wife. Or give this shtar shichur to zevet, and then he dies. So they don't give it after death. Tama, the reasoning why is the met because he died. Hamechimir, if he was alive, not to him, they give it. Tama, the reasoning is that Rabbi Tznu, because he said give. Halo Amar Tznu, if he didn't say Tznu and he only said just write it, and not to him, we don't give it. So it comes out, but he didn't say mefurash to give it over. He just said write it. So it comes out that in the same case that the Mishnah is talking about, if the person would have said only write ketov get liishto, and they didn't say give it. They wouldn't have been able to give it over. Even if he didn't say tenu, not tenu, we do give it. Meaning there's a special deen in a shechiv mena that the second that he says write to get for his wife, that already means write it and give it. By a regular person, writing it does not mean giving it. Just write it. And then whenever he wants, he'll give it over. But here when it says, write the concept, it's, it means that you're already giving it over. The Tramas, we learned in the Mishnah later on, Samechia Mubet, but in the beginning, they used to say, if somebody is going out to be hanged, imagine he's going out to be hanged by the government. In the olden days, they used to hang people. It was a very big mean hug. Yeah? And then he says, get li ishti. Right? Write this get for his wife. They write it and they give it. Meaning, even though he came and he only said, kitvu, which means to write it, they write it and give it. Okay? Then they said, right? The same halacha applies if somebody goes to the sea. Hayotzeh b'shayera, or he's going out, right, in the shaya to the midbar. Meaning, in all these dangerous cases, whether they're going out to sea, or they're going out in a, in a desert, those were dangerous. People would go out, and they wouldn't come back. Why do you think they sell gomen afterwards? They would go out, they wouldn't come back. So because of that, if they just said, write it, it means write it and give it. So that she doesn't say anagoma? Yes. Rabbi Shimon Shizuri, Omer Shimon Shizuri says, Afa mesukan, the same halacha applies not only to somebody that's going out to be hanged by the government, not only to somebody that's going out in the shayera, right, in the desert, like in a right in the thick desert, not only a person that's going out to see, but also chule mesukan, a person that's sick, that he's already like a sakana, I meaning he's already, you know, about to go, as they say, that he's basically like a shimera. Right? So the second that they say, write it, they write it and they give it. Okay? So matki flaravashi, Ravashi comes and he asks the following question. Whoever told you that our Mishnah is of Shimon Shizuri? Because who is the one that added in the Cholem Sukkan of Shimon Shizuri? Whoever told you that we got, that our Mishnah is like of Shimon Shizuri? Right? Dilma Rabbanani. Maybe it's like Rabbanan. And therefore, a Cholem Sukkan, he does have to say Mefurash. Right? Kitvu Utsunu, which means write it and give it. It's not just enough writing it. Right? So therefore, whoever told you. So if it is not a proof, that it's like yeah. fine. Let's go back to the case of Mamad Shloshtam. Gufa, we learned in the Brayta. Amar Avuna Marav says, "Rav, I need to give you a chatunu to open Mamad Shloshtam." Kana. 
we said that if a person comes and he says that I have a mana by you, right, and he's saying it and give it to this third person, and it was done with Mamad Shoshan that all three of them are there, he's going to be Kone. Amar Rava Rava says, we stop him into the Rav Bepikadon. It's more logical to say that we're talking about a Pikadon. What's a Pikadon? A deposit. Aval Bemingve, but a loan? Lo, we don't say that. By Elokima Amar, but he swears that Amar Rav, that Rav said, even if it's going to apply to a milve, to a loan, it's the same halacha. The exact same halacha, even if it's going to be a loan. It was also stated, Rama Shmuel Mishmuel de Levi, says Shmuel the name of Levi, milve lo libi yadcha tenu lo plonim, mama shor kanan. So therefore, there, in the name of Shmuel, he actually said mefudash, it was a milve. We said, mana libi yadcha, now we have to take the translation, what does it mean, I have a mana by you? Does that mean mana by you by a picadon, by a security? Or mana by you means a loan. And there was a machlok, is it only a picadon? Or no, picadon plus milve. Even if it's going to be a loan, same halacha applies. Shemuel learned to mefurash the words, milve libiadecha, I've got a loan by you, and give it to this person. And if it was going to be done mama shushan, you're going to acquire it. The tamamai, what's the reasoning? Amarami, amarami, says, nase ke omelo, it's like, he would say, in v'sha matan ma'ot, shabadana lilach lebidach, ulchol datu mechamatach. That basically, during the time of the alaba, it's like, I ani mishtabed li'ifroa lechov zeh, lecha be'atznecha lochol adam she'evo mikochacha. Meaning, kilo, the guy is coming and saying, I'm obligating myself to pay you back or to pay anybody that comes in your power. Right? And therefore, if he told him now, the malveh, li'ifroa techov l'adam ploni, he's coming from his koach. And therefore, it comes out, the mafreya, even though the loan was to him, right? It's going back now to the third person, pardon me. And that you're allowed to do. So, Amar le'i Ravashi l'meimar says, Ravashi l'meimar, Ela me'ata, we're going to ask the following question. Hiknan l'noladim, de lo avu b'shan matana ma'ot, ha'chan ami de lo kanu. Imagine right now, according to you, a kinyan is only going to be chal, because it's mishtabed at the beginning. Meaning, when the person took the loan, from the beginning, he was already subjugated, whether it's to this person, or to anybody that comes from his power of attorney. So here, since this person came and he handed over his power to somebody else, so now the borrower is obligated to pay him back. Imagine a bank comes and it tells you, right, we're selling your loan. And they do it all the time, by the way. Yeah. Right? They come and they sell your loan to somebody else. So now you can't come and say, listen, I don't know, I don't know money anymore. No, right? It happens all the time. Then all of a sudden, the, you got to get it from one borrowing or mortgage company. They sell it to somebody else. And then and sometimes they can sell it even a few times. And they can do whatever they want with it, really. Right? That's the way they, they're able to do it. Okay? Yeah? So what happens is the same thing. He's like selling the loan to somebody else. Okay? Even though he's not selling it, he's giving it over, but it's the same thing. So mm -hmm. he comes and he says, what about now if it was done to somebody that was only born after the halva? Both of us. Right? That he wasn't there with Shabbat no. yeah. Because if you're going to tell me... What? Shoshan are not there. No, Shoshan is there now, but the baby is here now. What, he's, in the, he's, in the... he's in the equation here, right? He's here. Right? They had to be here physically. They were here physically. You he bring the born. baby. You bring the baby. No, he wasn't, he born. wasn't born at the time of the lending. Ah. But right now, at the Mamad Shoshan, yeah, at the yeah, time of giving it over, that the Picadon, no, 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 no. Meaning, he was alone, not a Picadon. One more time. Somebody comes and he loans so money. Long, yeah. right? All of a sudden, right? At the, if, what did we just say? We just said that it was at the time of the loan, everything went into effect. Tehilu, that I'm obligating myself to you or to any power of attorney. All of a sudden, you come and you say, you know what? I'm going to give it to my son. Who's the son? Your son was born two months later. So your son is born two months later. You come and now we're all here. I'm here. You're here. Your son is here right in front of you. You say, you know what? Don't pay me back. Pay my son. But now it says the Gimara, one second, since the boy, the child was not born during the time of the loan, right? The law of matan ma'ot, shouldn't acquire anything. Tafilu will be me, the Amar was even according to me that he says, a person could acquire something that hasn't come into the world. That's only to something which is in the world. Meaning, you could acquire something which is not in the world to someone that is in the world, but to something which is not in the world yet, which is a child, you can start doing it. So what does it help now? Elamaravashi, but rather Ravashi says, with that hana'a, you dala the mudala from the top. Right? With that hana'a, the kamishtanyale, right? That you're changing between the milve ishana, the milve chadasha, between the old milve, right? Which is the old malve and the new one. Gamaru mishabe nafsheh. 
Meaning like this, at the end of the day, it could be that the old one was very difficult to prolong the, the, the debt. Right? Why? I lend you a thousand dollars. I tell you, listen, pay me back two months. Yeah? Even if you come to try to prolong it, it could happen, but okay, whatever it is. But it's much more difficult to push me off to prolong it than prolong somebody that came from my power. Because the second that it comes from my power, he never was the one that really gave the debt. So for him, okay, fine, you know, don't give it to me this month, give it to me next month. Big deal. So big deal. It's much easier to come and to prolong, right, with somebody that comes secondary. The glasses yeah, them? that's what the Gemara say. So because of that, you are mishabed yourself to the new person, even though there was no real kinyan bemet. Because during the time of the kinyan, the person wasn't alive, but still you would do it. So, right? And that's how we're, we're actually going to finish off, obviously, this stuff. Because in 